Okay, let's see, today's date, it's uh, November 14th of 2017, and, oops, I thought I had video there. Where is the video? Here it is. There's the video. Now, this video over there, this is confusing. I made, well, this video, when I started, it'll tell you when I made it. It was made a few days ago. So, um, let me go back to, nope. There we go. And I have, over here on the right-hand side of the screen is Google Maps. So I'm going to follow, uh, as best I can, this short walking and talking video that I made, and I'll try to follow it over here on Google Google Maps. So are you are you ready? Let's see how this works out. This is an experiment here. Here we go. Number six of twenty seventeen, and this is a walking and talking video. I haven't made one in a long time. The reason I haven't is because if you've watched it before, you'll see this is <laughs> the same scene. I never go anywhere. This is the same scenery as last year and year before and the year before and so on. But I thought I'd make one. I actually like them. I love watching other people's walking or talking videos or the videos where somebody, uh, you know, has just a camera, you know, aimed out their window. Or... I don't care too much for uh, driving videos, but I do watch them. I'm in Fort Worth, Texas. It's about 68 degrees. I'm going to walk down to the dollar store. Uh, I'm making this video with my Panasonic LX7. I very rarely use this camera. It's an excellent point-and-shoot camera. Uh, they now have the LX10 out. Uh, but I don't, you know, I don't think I'm going to upgrade because there are other cameras that I, I want. But this is it's nice to have a point and shoot camera, one that I can stick in my pocket, and uh, that's what I can do with this camera. So, oh, gross. I don't, I'm sure I made a uh, walk and talk video with this, with this camera before. No close-ups, please, of me. Oh, God. I was out the other day with my uh, bridge camera, uh, the Panasonic uh, 200. Let's see, what is it? Can't remember it. Preface? preface? Uh, down in front of the apartment, I was putting some a solar light out in front of the apartment in the ground, and somebody pulled up uh, in the parking lot in front of the, not directly in front of my apartment, but down, uh, down from it. But they saw me out there, and it was dark, and they kicked the highlights on. And that's the highlights on. I think they thought maybe I had a gun in my hand, so not a pretty good idea here I'm walking around with this. This is not the greatest neighborhood, not the worst. I've lived in worse neighborhoods, believe me, but uh, you do want to be careful nowadays. Right here, right here. I forget where the uh, 
microphone is on this camera. I may have my, I'm sure you still heard me, but I may have my, may have had my finger on top of the microphone. This dollar store, actually, everything here is, is a dollar. Of course, well, they have a few items that are less than a dollar. I'm and over there right now. Canned goods and a few things, but nothing more than a dollar. Pretty neat. See if they fixed the glass from the bullet holes here yet. Yeah, they did. No more bullet holes here. Somebody... That's got to be expensive, a big piece of glass like that. Somebody sprayed a few weeks ago, I don't know when, uh, the place down here. Was, nope, it wasn't open, although it was close to that uh, barber shop. You may have just seen me pass, but somebody sprayed it with bullets. I'm not sure what I'm going to get at the dollar store. Not very much. It's hard for me to walk. I feel, I feel pretty good right now. But Well, not so good that I want to take stairs down. I think I'll just take this one stair here. One step and walk down this way. Okay. I'm going to bring this to a, an end right here. This is the uh, this is the dollar store. Okay. Oops. Where's the video? No, here. There we want. So. Guess that's. Um, guess that's it. That worked out pretty good, didn't it? Sort of a walking and talking and. Google map thing. Well, let me update you. If you happen to watch a video I made a couple hours ago, I mentioned that I was expecting a package from Amazon and that it showed it delivered. They even had a picture showing it looked like the door to the apartment, but it wasn't our apartment because I'd been the day before it was supposed to come, I've been watching all day for the package and tracking it. And I, even at midnight or two o'clock in the morning, I, and, and there was a message, you know, from Amazon that uh, the package had been misdirected or something they would get it on. And in the morning, early, uh, before eight o'clock or whatever, there was a picture on the tracking saying it had been delivered. And of course it wasn't delivered to my door and then the picture that they took there was a white trash bag. We happened at this time we're not using white trash bags. So I went to the office. Well, I looked around the apartment here as best I could. I didn't see a package at any, any door. I went to the office and told them and uh, they said it might show up and anyway I got a message that it, it was taken to the office by somebody, whoever found it at their door and uh, so tomorrow I'll go pick that up 
Uh, what else is going on? Uh, I think that's it. So let me end this and not drag it out. By the way, if you happen to like Firefox, Foxfire, whatever the browser, the video I made a few hours ago is about today was the release day of uh, their new version of it. And I used it. In fact, I'm using it now. Uh, and it's, uh, well, not right now. Well, it is, yeah. That's uh, the browser here. Go down to Help. Click on it. It's Firefox Quantum, and it's uh, I'm using the 64-bit Windows 10 version. It's uh, version 57.0, and it looks like it's a nice improvement. So you might want to check out that video or do a search on YouTube and find other people talking about it or something. But it looks like it's going to be a winner. So uh, thank you very much for watching.